what is it about certain types of diving that actually bring about the opposite problem? Let's go back to something you said at the outset, just because folks might not understand why the Navy would be interested in the effects of too much oxygen, right? When you think of the Navy, you think of being underwater. When you think of being underwater, you think of oxygen deprivation. So what is it about certain types of diving that actually bring about the opposite problem? Yeah, good question. Uh, so hyperbaric oxygen, you experience that with hyperbaric oxygen therapy, right? And there's 14 different FDA approved applications. And that you, in that context, you only go to about a maximum of 2.5 to three atmospheres of pure oxygen. In the context of military diving, like a Navy SEAL use a closed circuit rebreather because there's no bubbles. So there's a stealth component to that. And you're breathing uh, high concentrations of oxygen and at, at 50 feet of seawater, the potential for oxygen toxicity exists. And uh, just explain just to 10 folks, minutes. sorry, Don, yeah. explain to folks exactly what that is. So yeah. how does a rebreather work? What's the mm -hmm. concentration of oxygen that they're breathing in? Yep. So uh, a closed circuit rebreather, for example, like a Draeger rebreather, like the original ones, uh, those early rebreathers, and even now, it's high concentration. It's like a, essentially 100% oxygen, right? You're breathing 100% oxygen. So there's no nitrogen. There's 80% nitrogen in the air we're yep. breathing right now, right? Uh, there's no nitrogen. So you avert the potential for nitrogen narcosis. So nitrogen's not narcotic at one atmosphere, but there you get something called the Martini effect. And as you go down lower, nitrogen becomes narcotic. So that's something else that we study. But uh, so you're breathing 100% oxygen and uh, and then there's a CO2 scrubber. So you're blowing out the exhaled carbon dioxide is scrubbed out from the breather. And uh, and that keep, it's a closed circuit. So there is no off gassing associated with uh, scuba diving or even other types of uh, technical diving where you have some off gassing, right?